Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I wanted to make a video about tortoise myths and today I'm going to basically be debunking them and telling you how things really work. I also wanted to go ahead and thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. It's an awesome goal to achieve and I can't thank you enough. I've always loved animals and it's amazing that I get to share my pets and how I take care of them with you and that I'm able to help you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers and let's get into the video. So the first myth I want to talk about is people that say tortoises are slow. Tortoises aren't that slow. Personally, I've seen my tortoises, they are pretty fast if I do say so myself. Tortoises average speed is around 0.13 or 0.3 miles per hour, which to me that's kind of fast for a tortoise. I think you would expect them to be a lot slower, but it's pretty cool that they are actually kind of fast. Leopard tortoises are the fastest in all of the species. They can achieve up to 0.28 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive. They are also a lot faster when food is involved. So I'm going to show you a clip of coconut to prove you that they are actually pretty fast. And let's see if he can be faster than a leopard tortoise. So here we have coconut, our first and honestly only contestant. He is my Greek tortoise, so let's see how fast he can get. So how do you think coconut did? So let's say that coconut started at the 15 centimeter mark and ended up at the 70 centimeter mark. This means that he ran 55 centimeters. So to calculate the speed, you have to divide the distance by the time. So let's say 55 centimeters divided by 3.26 seconds equals around 16 centimeters per second. And this equals to 0.35 miles per hour. And with these results in mind, we can officially tell that coconut is above average. So yeah, but I still wanted to check another thing out, because I know food is a good incentive, but nothing incentivates coconut more than his girlfriend Kiwi, so let's see how fast he can get to her. So if we do the calculations that we did last time, this means that he ran 60 centimeters in 2.33 seconds, which equals to a speed of 25 centimeters per second, which equals to 0.55 miles per hour, which is almost the world record. Not really, but he could get there. The world record for fastest tortoise in the world is 0.63 miles per hour, so yeah, it's pretty impressive. Another myth is that tortoises can swim. They aren't the greatest swimmers, but if they really have to, then they will probably most likely swim. Please don't try this at home and don't put your tortoise in a bathtub full of water. Like this could be actually dangerous and they could actually drown. So please don't do that. Tortoises are meant to be on soil. They aren't meant to swim on water. Of course, you should have water available for them so that they can drink and soak, but nothing that's too deep, always a shallow dish. So basically what I'm trying to say is they will only swim if it's purely necessary. They won't go in for the fun of it or anything else. Another myth is telling your tortoise's age by the rings on their shell. This is completely false because tortoises grow in completely different rates. Even if it's between species or in the same species, it's just not reliable. I have two Greek tortoises. For example, the female is a lot larger than the male and they are the same age. So this is just not a reliable method. To be honest, you can't really tell the age of a tortoise once they are adults. It's really, really hard. You just have to guess how old they are. There's no definitive uh, method for telling your tortoise's age. So you can estimate, but it's never going to be accurate. The final myth that I want to talk to you about today is that tortoises cannot feel pain through their shell. This is completely false. Their shell is made of bone, so Breaking their shell would be the equivalent to you breaking a bone, so as you can tell, it's pretty painful. They aren't as sensitive as they are on their skin, obviously, but if you tap their shell with your finger, you will see that they will react. They can feel that, so yes, they 
can feel their shells. It's not rock, it is a living being and it's living tissue. So you can definitely tell that they can feel their shell. This is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was somewhat helpful or informative and fun. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope to see you guys soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.